Hello to all my friends. Hi out there. I hope everyone is doing okay. Well, today I was able to work a little bit because I figured everyone would be home watching the Super Bowl. So I was able to shop in the thrift stores, not like I used to, but I was able to get uh, go into one and shop around a bit. And so the way I used to do it is I used to go to every um, thrift store in town every day and I would go through the thrift store item by item, you know, like every shirt, every, that's how you find stuff. But it's still not safe enough to do that but I was able to work a little. And so then, you know, I wanted to come home and do the uh, YouTube video. And sometimes they're so easy to do. And sometimes you go, what is the problem? This is not a difficult dinner. It just was like, not that easy to do. So I made myself some uh, peppermint tea. And another thing I did was I went shopping again at Grocery Outlet trying to buy um, what I decided to do is buy like drastically reduced stuff. And I was in another town. I was in the Grocery Outlet in Santee. And so I thought, well, I'll shop around and see what I can find. And I found some really cheap, good stuff. And I will show you in a minute. So I haven't made any soup, you know? And I thought, yeah, I will make some. So let's see. I guess I got, oh, I took everything out. Okay, so I have been wanting to make this. And uh, this is strange. Uh, I bought this, uh, this salmon so cheap for $2.99. I mean, good salmon. This is a lot cheaper than the uh, salmon you get at the food at the food bank, but I uh, just so happened that I got this really good salmon. It all depends. It all depends on the fish himself. So I took all the skin and bones off, and so look at that nice salmon. That's 14 ounces. So if I make a lot, that's fine. I'll eat it until it's gone. Okay, so what this is really like is called salmon chowder. And what it's really like is like potato soup or um, corn soup. It's got corn and potatoes. So, you know, I have the 10 pounds potatoes. So uh, you need a can of salmon, chopped onion, I use dry, chopped cilantro, I use dry, garlic powder, uh, diced potatoes, diced carrots, two cups chicken broth, a tablespoon of salt. I did not add a tablespoon of salt. I didn't add any salt yet. A tablespoon of black pepper, a can of cream corn, and two cups half and half. It says, in a large pan, saute the vegetables in butter. Add broth and boil. After veggies become tender, stir in the rest of the ingredients. Simmer for 15 minutes and enjoy. So I'm going to be putting this in a notebook so I don't lose it. When I make a uh, potato soup, you can add clams or oysters to that. So, okay, so I will add this. Uh, so still checking for bones. Uh, you know, uh, when I, because of my age, when I went to uh, the food bank that time, you know, when you get older, you know, you can't be too lofty. Anything can happen. I think they gave me two cans. I did a video. Just go under Rhoda Stone. Uh, I don't link them. I also don't edit. What you see is what you get. Uh, I want it like you're in the kitchen with me. And so I'm cutting my... Uh, this is a lot. You could save half, but, you know, I'm going to use it all. Uh, usually I pour tomato sauce over this. So what I did is I have one potato, one carrot, one piece of celery. I had vegetable broth. I could, and I put it all in. It's more than two cups. And I, I put some, um, I put some cilantro. I put some, um, minced onion and uh that's all i put so far 
So here is salmon. So uh, if you guys are seniors and you don't have that much money, I would suggest going to the food pantries. I mean, why not? Why sit around with peanut butter and no crackers or whatever hell is happening? Go get your uh, food and uh, make yourself a little stockpile. Uh, nobody uh, needs to know if you find it embarrassing. So now this one calls for uh, some cream corn. So I got, you know, all a canned vegetables is not created equal. So today I do have cream corn somewhere, but this is good. So I wanna make, you know, I wanna, so then I'm adding some cream corn. So the main ingredients is chicken broth, salmon, cream corn, and then it calls for uh, two cups of cream. So, okay, so I have some uh, leftover, um, some of this crema. I think this would be way too gluey with uh, only two cups of broth, but you know, that's to your taste. A lot of it depends, I don't think all the salmons, so I'm using my um, crema up. And I have a little evaporated milk left. So this is a lot, but you know, you figure if you eat two cups, you know, that that is a lot. So see how it's like a nice thick chowder and you've got your potatoes. So if you buy celery, potatoes, carrots, onions, potatoes especially, uh, you could just make potato soup. Uh, the way I make it is I cover the potatoes with water and I put some dry onion in and I put the potatoes and I cook them down. Then I would add the, the salmon. You don't have to have, uh, I find this to be a little bit too gluey. One of the things that was bogging my day down is, you know, I didn't refill my water. So, you know, I forgot SOS pads. Uh, I like things kind of on the soupy side, even gravy. I mean, it's up to you what you like it. But once you have the corn and the... Uh, so you put the potatoes and the water and the onion, and then you can add clams or salmon or oysters, and you add a little butter and a little chives, you know, to your taste. But I thought this was really a good... This looks good. And then um, it calls for butter, and I always put a little butter to give it a little bit of creaminess. And I have this little piece of butter left. That was awesome. So I'll put a little in there, not too much. Does it need it? Still needs more water. So um, I would suggest if you're like broke, uh, going to the food pantry, going to the churches. You know, my friend, the one I tried to help who did not want to cooperate. I said, why wouldn't you go to the churches and the food banks and get as much food as you possibly could? Because I told you she didn't have any food in her refrigerator. And so, you know, uh, one thing you know when you get older is you don't know what's going to happen. You don't know if you're going to get sick. You just don't know. You are Your guess is as good as guy. You know, I was a nursing student for years. And so, you know, you start getting up there around 70 years old. Uh, one car repair. You know, I just had a car repair. 
And it was the most minor thing. I forget what it was. A uh, battery. By the time we got out of there, it was $1,400. Not for the battery, but it had a few issues. And so not knowing what was going to happen with the uh, chain, the uh, supply chain, you know, they have everybody terrorized, so we, you know, figure we better get it done. Uh-oh, my bracelet isn't connected right. Uh, they still have these on sale at Walmart. So, uh, you know, if you get a couple of, well, I can't put it back on, it's too labor intensive. But if you get a couple of nice things, like I think it was last month that I bought this blouse very cheap at Brands Overstock. It's a Brick Shields blouse. It's nice. You know, you put a jacket over it, like when I saw real estate. I wanted to show you something. Here is the coat that I bought. And you have to buy the stuff when it's there. It's a cute uh, sweater coat. And so as soon as I walked into the house, I um, washed it. So like you might be going, wow, how do you stand all that junk in your house. Well, if it's dirty at all, if it's not new, I wash it if I have to like that. I thought I couldn't sell it. But what I really bought it for is to keep an extra coat, like nice warm coat in my trunk. If, if I bring you over here, are you going to say hi? Are you going to tweet? Today he's been getting up on his nest. I spent like so long all right, we want words. We want verb words. All right. Say hi to the YouTube family. Can you say hello? My name is Tweety. That's what I'm trying to teach him to say. Here's his nest. See his nest up there? He's been climbing onto it, onto the edge of it. That's his He's domesticated. I told myself we gotta get another bird. He's too lonesome. So let me give you another shot of this recipe. Get this recipe and get yourself some salmon if you're low on food. I I watch um, food hauls, you know, from the food banks. Some of those hauls are not very impressive. I mean, you know, let's not say be ungrateful. But uh, you want to get the food when they have it, because when they start uh, running low, uh, the food, maybe because they figure you have food stamps if you're that poor, I'm not sure. Uh, your best bet in all cases is to stockpile. That is going to help you more than anything. Okay, so let's see. Let's do this. What did I do? Okay, today... Now, my idea on this kind of stuff is I bought all these, this silverware for uh, 25 cents each. And it didn't look as super duper as it does now, but some of it was really nice. And so what I do is I throw these in a big, I bought them for 25 cents each. I can use them like this I will use. I don't need tea party. But uh, these are Rogers, and I wanted to tell you, like, okay, I brought them home. This is nice for a quarter. And so I wash them good. What I did is I put them in the sink with a lot of detergent because there's somebody else's that is kind of dirty. And, you know, then I scrubbed each one off good with um, a sponge. And, and the knives are nice, see? And then I dried them, and then I made a mixture of two um, tablespoons baking soda and one tablespoon water, and I rubbed them with that, and I let it dry. Then I rinsed that off, and then I washed them again, and I dried them. So then, you know, I'll take the ones, I'll probably take, I'll probably take the big, big spoons out, and the, and the knives and uh, then I'll just put the rest somewhere. So last time I went to the, you know, it's all about learning, learning. Last time I went to the uh, swap meet, I had tea party spoons in there. Nice ones. Uh, they were kind of like uh, these type. These are no more valuable. 
and some lady rummaged through and bought them all. So I know that when the time comes, I can sell them. You know, who knows? I might need cash. I hope not. Then I, and I, I brought this to show you. I bought this nice um, jewelry box because I got a lot of jewelry because I sell it. But uh, there's the inside. But what I did is I wiped it down with this stuff. And then I threw those in the trash. And then I took a microfiber cloth to it because I don't like to get nice things wet. And then I uh, took uh, masking tape and I just ran the masking tape over the interior, which is, it's got a lot of rings, places for rings. If you keep your jewelry in a nice jewelry box, this is a mahogany jewelry box and it's got a lock. A lot of the people that I used to work for, this is like a cash box. But what's stupid about this is if somebody robs you, they just take the whole box. Better to keep your money in the bank. But um, then I got this really nice cookbook. So this is about a $30 cookbook. And so I say to myself when I buy this, I bought it for $3 because I wanted it for myself. But I said, what professional series 750 create inspiring recipes for every day of the week? Well, it's a Vitamix blender. But what's nice is it's got a lot of smoothies and stuff in there. And then... The minute I opened it up, it opened up to peanut butter chocolate chip scones. Let me give you the recipe, you guys. So I go, that's a sale by Jove. And these are so yummy. Uh, you know, I took to scones like a duck takes to water. Uh, not so much with um, donuts. I think that's because a lot of the donut makers are uh, secretive in the recipe. Finally, I got a couple good ones. And also, the pretzels weren't that easy to find a good recipe. You know, you think I can never make those. Yeah, you can if you get the good recipe. And so... Uh, also, I got these cookie cutters. Now, what I'm looking for is a diamond. So there's like a whole drawer full. I got a triangle, which was great. I got a rectangle, which was great. And I got a nice donut or uh, biscuit, which was great. But no, uh, no uh, triangle. But th and then I bought this nice, this is a $30 book. Do you guys ever watch Ice Age Farmer? Uh, this is always on there. So I bought this for my son for Valentine's Day. And I got it for cheap too. So even on these books, I just wipe them down with a microfiber cloth. And then, you know, I uh, keep them. But if you, if you make sure your books are around a $30 book, you're always going to be, see how quick and easy this is? Uh, I bet you this would be good with some curry powder in here. But we're not doing that today. Okay, so let's have a little bit. So I will have enough uh, soup for about two or three days. I still have a little baked beans in there. So I'm glad I added the water because, you know, to me, soup, here it is. And in my freezer, I have some nice, uh, God knows where, I have some croutons, but I can't, oh, I will eat my soup with one of my new spoons. <laughs> so this is what you call living, oh, let's put a little garlic salt and uh, pepper on here. And there's salt in here too. This is what you call living off the fruits of your labor. Remember those people who used to say I was lucky? Yeah, they should have been following me around today. It was quite the day. Look at this. They don't need butter or anything. They're just so delicious. Oops.
I buy the dollar chocolate bars and I break them up and put them in like chocolate chips is cheaper. Now let me taste the soup. This is a new recipe. It's kind of a new recipe. It's like my same old potato soup uh, with my new spoon, of course. That is good. It's like um, corn chowder with, uh, let me get a chunk of, of salmon. That is just a fluke that I got such a good dollar, good $3 can of salmon. Now I want to show you what I bought. I think the prudent thing to do is keep stockpiling food. You know, we have these rumors of wars. That's the end of times. It could go horribly wrong. So the first thing I bought was this orange jello for 30 cents. Grocery outlet. I bought the cream style corn for a dollar eighteen. That wasn't the, the cheapest corn I've ever met, but that's a good brand, so. I bought, oh, I wanted to try, I got this, um, these mug treats were 25 cents. I go, I'll try one. So you see, I'm spending very little money and it adds up. You put it in a box and pretty soon you got a box full of food. Okay, and then they had some nice uh, mixed vegetables. Okay, these were cheap. How much were these? Uh, these were 59 cents each. So that's incredibly cheap. And these don't expire until uh, 2024. So if you take care of your cans, let's say something hideous happens, these could last five years after the Best Buy. So hang on to your cans. Don't be in such, I saw today something crazy. I was in the thrift store and this lady was trying to donate her stuff and they wouldn't take it because it was eight minutes past the drop off. And I go, you know, when this recession starts hitting, people are going to be sorry. Okay. Oh, and I bought these before. I bought these big bars for 58 cents. Those are good with tea. Sometimes I eat them in my car. And then I got this uh, shampoo. Uh, I like this. Uh, this is uh, Argon Oil of Morocco Conditioner for 97 cents. I think it's good enough. You can't have really, really good hair with a cheap uh, shampoo. That's impossible, but it's good enough. Now, uh, now we're getting to the really nice stuff I bought. which was well worth my trip there. Okay, so then I bought this. I couldn't believe the price on this. It was $2.99. And what I like to do with this, I get my bologna. I get bread, mayonnaise, mustard, bologna, and, and uh, salami. But I also like salami and cheese. And I got this, um, I got this uh, cheese for $1.97. This is really good cheese and I already ate a little piece. So if you have salami and cheese, I could have had a salami um, sandwich to go with my um, soup. Let's see, I already ate a little piece so I can tell you it's so delicious. Look. If you like good cheese. So uh, I will probably keep it in the freezer. Because uh, that's a lot of cheese. And I don't want it to. Uh... Oh this is so delicious. If you're a lover of good cheese. Like I am. Oh good. Then I bought. These are strawberry cream desserts, three for a um, dollar. I got those.
They're kind of like yogurt, some kind of creamy yogurty dessert. So, um, this was ten dollars and fifty nine cents, saving twenty three dollars. So if you do this over time, you're not going to be running out of, of uh, food. Okay, so, you know, we're seeing all this stuff, and we're going, what is going on? What it's like is a multi-marketing, mar multi-level marketing scheme thing. Okay, the people, it's like when you buy stock, you get in at the beginning low, and then the masses run in, and then you make a whole bunch of money, and you pull out, and the masses are left holding the bag. And that goes all the way across the world now. So it's super interesting. And I think this was the genius of Epstein. He really understood, Epstein was a, a mathematician, and he really understood multi-marketing. Getting to the top, uh, I think um, the guy with um, Victoria's Secret is a prime example of this. And so I, it, his store was like uh, Fredericks of Hollywood. But, you know, they revamped it and they got these supermodels. And, and at one time in the shopping center I used to work at, the store took overtook the whole, whole one end of the uh, strip mall. And they were making tons of money. And then, you know, it all started collapsing like it always does. These multi-level, uh, this is like the Chinese and their uh, real estate. How, you know, all the little people jumped in and they bought all this, these stupid high rises that nobody lived in and they weren't done building. And it was literally like a multi-level marketing. That's why they want to do the worldwide to enlarge the uh, markets or to enlarge their territories, like what we see going on here. So, um, the, they say a multi-level marketing is not the same as a pyramid scam. A pyramid scam, promise of payment solely for bringing in new recruits rather than actually selling products. So I think this was like Ghislaine Maxwell. This is where she came in, and that's why she's in so darn much trouble. But I want to mention something, and what I meant, want to mention is this. I don't want to say it. And so you can take a look at this. And so her, her lawyers don't say this is happening to her. They say, you know, she can't get any sleep, you know, and they say, oh, she's starving herself. Well, that's debatable. And then on the news, we heard President uh, Putin say he was by uh, the French. So you can go down there and say what possibly happened to him. Something along these lines is hard to say. But there was, um, there was a prophecy that France would burn. That's a good way to get burned. <laughs> that was a good way to get bombed. And that Poland would survive only because these, these countries want to grab territories. Uh, Germany and several other um, countries would literally flood. So uh, this was from a Catholic Church um, prophecy. And so you have to ask yourself, could the uh, churches promote propaganda could the countries yes they could and they could also do all kinds of uh bad stuff so the the thing about okay you know Epstein's they say he didn't make it out alive I'm not so sure about that but they say when a person is subject to this dead men tell no tales otherwise you know they're just a mess a psychological unrecoverable mess so I just wanted to put that out there. And so then when you watch this stuff and you say, did you say, did you say this? Did you say 
they're starving themselves in jail. And then the other other thing is, is these uh, in jail all the time stuff. I've seen them come out and I, I would be thinking many times, my God, what has happened to you? Well, that's probably what's happened to them. So we don't want to be breaking the law. This is a time to prepare for the worst and hope for the best. Is it inconceivable that we could ever have another war? Is it inconceivable that we could ever have another famine? Is it inconceivable but things could start going terribly wrong? I mean, we look at these uh, pyramids, I'm not going to say schemes, but all we have to do is look at China and this real estate look at victoria's uh, secret and when it started to crumble irregardless of the crimes supposedly uh committed that you know they're not the only ones they're just you know the ones that are caught so um and uh as far as epstein and maxwell goes nothing they were done uh warren's death is which looks like both of them is moving in so um, we want to start being very careful with our resources. You know, if you have stuff around your house, don't be, you might go be saying, I can't get stuff for uh, 10 years. Well, it's just like the stockpiling little by little. Um, so, you know, I'm working on my car. I was watching some good van, car van living videos today. Uh, I have no plans of living in a van. But in the event something happened, a van would be a lot better to evacuate than a car because if you get the cargo van, no one can see into the car and you have a lot more storage in there. You could put stuff in there. So you also, you know, just um, to mention about uh, the better area that I live in now, uh, the, the areas that I was in are getting very, very uh, bad. So I was lucky that I got over here, and I'm very grateful to uh, be over here. But I was mentioning to my son that it's good forward direction, you know, all the time. Like, okay, so we don't have to, you know, work on the next 10 years. We say to ourselves, okay, maybe I can do a little walking today. Okay, maybe I can cook some of my stockpile food down today. Okay, maybe I can watch my money. Uh, today, I've been doing very well on my caffeine habit, doing that, going, okay, well, at night, I will buy some of this stuff. That'll slow you down, for one thing, it's not that tasty, but it works. Instead of going, oh, I'm a failure, I can't quit, just say, okay, well, maybe I can do a little exercising. Maybe I can give this disaster thing some thought. Maybe I can just get one little thing. Maybe I can, you know, watch for stuff to go on. I prefer new stuff like this blouse. But, you know, if I find some, that's not a very expensive coat. That's why I'm keeping it because new, they're only 35 bucks. So if I sold it, if I was to sell it, truthfully, the fact that it's used, is it's worth no more than 10 bucks and I have to ship it, which is impossible. And also I wanted to mention that I am donating to stuff, but I'm donating it to the church first. You know, the church that I generally go to. So, okay, you guys, please like, comment, and subscribe and be thinking about some of this stuff. And like when you hear things go, what? What did you say? Are you kidding me? Okay, you guys, God bless you all.